Hello, welcome to my channel. This place is Beth Shayan in Israel. Beit Sheen is one of the oldest cities in Israel. Often overlooked by tourists, it's worth a visit. Like most places in Israel it has several names, Scythopolis, Telephone Beit Sheen, Telephone El Husn, Telephone El Hassan, Bison, and Nisa. It is in the Galilee region of northern Israel where the Herod Valley and Jordan Valley meet. It's 27 kilometers south of the Sea of Galilee and 5 kilometers east of the Jordan River. It is one of the country's largest archaeological sites. The area was settled as early as the Chalcolithic era, about 6,000 years ago. It has remained continually inhabited since then. Extensive excavation of a large mound has revealed over 20 layers of remains from ancient civilizations. Canaanite temples predate Egyptian occupation of the region followed by Israelite rule and the Philistines during the Old Testament period. The name appears in the Bible several times and is famous as the site where King Saul and his sons hung from the city walls. The city remained a significant metropolis during the reign of King David and King Solomon. The Hellenistic period followed when the city was renamed Scythopolis after Dionysus' nurse. She was believed to have been buried here. In the 1st century AD, Beit Sheen became a flourishing multicultural Roman city. It was one of ten cities in the Decapolis Regional League. It was the Roman provincial capital in the 4th century AD. Following an earthquake in 749 AD, the city never truly regained its former status. Since then the Crusaders, Mamluks, Ottomans, British and finally Israelis have each settled here. Today the main attraction is the Archaeological National Park where tourists can see the history of Israel through the archaeological remains from each historic period. On the elevated mound are remains of the Canaanite and Egyptian cities and at the foot of the mound are the extensive remains of the Roman city. The excavation and reconstruction offer a clear picture of what the city would have looked like. This former Roman metropolis was home to 30,000 to 40,000 citizens and covered approximately 370 acres. Visitors to the park can see the ancient wall that surrounded the city, public baths, a Roman temple, stores, artisan workshops and other well-preserved structures. The central Palladius street runs for 24 meters with a number of colonnades. Historians established that the street was named after a 4th century Roman governor after uncovering an inscription. There are rare mosaics in a Roman amphitheater which is still in use today. Today, ancient Beit Shean is a national park and a popular tour destination. The biblical period ruins are on top of a prominent tell, overlooking the Greek and Roman ruins in the valley. The most remarkable structures in the Roman city are a 5,000 seats theater and two giants bathhouses next to it. The colonnaded street, paved with black basalt slabs, runs from the theater to the base of the tell. The street was lined with shops, some operating as brothels and flanked by 20 feet wide footpaths. Several temples stood at the end of the street, and close by was a nymphaeum and a basilica. South of the city center the Romans erected a hippodrome, which was later transformed to an amphitheater for gladiator shows. Centuries later, the Crusaders built a fort over the carcers of the hippodrome, where they also ran a sugar plant. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, God bless you.